Learn Accounting Podcast by Professor Accounting, Episode 22, Clubs and Societies Subscription Account. So just a quick podcast uh, on this topic, just looking at the structure of the subscriptions account. So I'm going to look at, um, in this case, income in arrears and income in advance. Um, I know subscriptions produces income, so I'm using those terms, but also you can think of subscriptions as being debtors as well. Uh, both works. So instead of just using the typical balance BDs uh, on either side, such as this, you can have this situation. I'm just going to, what I tend to do is I rather use the, the terms more specifically, such as in a reason in advance, just to help in terms of understanding which side they go on. So if you've got subscriptions at the start of the year, then we're using balance BD. Um, but if they are in arrears, which is still owing to the business, then that obviously will be on the debit side. So think of it as if debtors owe the business money, then they're in arrears, they're owing, so it will be on the debit side of an asset account. Um, so in advance will be on the credit side. Um, so if it's in advance, it's on the credit side, which means it's a liability. We owe them either the subscription or we owe them the money back. Um, so if you set these up next in terms of the, the end point, let's look at... If this is uh, in advance at the beginning, then this needs to be in advance at the end, ready for the next year, which is in advance at the beginning. So that's the CD to BD. So I'm, I'm just do this how, how I'm doing it, and then you can see the whole picture in terms of filling it in. Um, then let's look at this side. So you've got arrears BD, so this will be arrears CD, the end of the year, and that will give you uh, arrears BD. So you've got the, the structure there for the time being. And uh, you don't have to have these if you don't want to. Um, it is for OCR. This is used to be AQA. Uh, this is mainly for OCR. And um, I quite like these because it's more useful to understand the BDs. So what else goes in here? Well, you've got cash. You've got cash book. We've got bad debts. All the subscriptions written off. And then I and E. So the way of re re uh, realizing where, where the cash book goes is, well, subscriptions are paid to us. So that will be a debit to the cash book. So it's a credit uh, to the... Um, uh, subscriptions now um, it's something that's not always in every question is you may have bad debts so if you've got bad debts then uh, you're reducing the subscriptions and increasing assets of bad debt so bad debts will go there as well just underneath cash book before the inner at the end if there is any um, another phrase uh, uh, you could use instead of bad debts I prefer bad debts but you could get it actually specifically called subscriptions written off and therefore that will go there instead but I'll use bad debts either one will be fine um, and then on this side is lastly is the income and expenditure account, the I and E account. So that is the last value that we're we're calculating. So I'm just going to put in some numbers um, just to give you a, an idea of how to complete this. No, no question. Um, this will this will work for any question uh, in full, depending on what you've got. Some questions they just don't mention the bad debts, so it'll be slightly easier. Um, but uh, typically you've got in a reason in advance, the beginning, the end of the year, um, which is quite common given the size of clubs. Uh, some do uh, not don't pay on time, uh, so they owe money maybe at the end of the year or at the end of last year for the beginning of this year, whereas some actually uh, owe money as well, uh, prepay money, so they prepay their subscription. So if you fill in, um, so in a reason at the start, let's say we have £350. However, we've got some uh, some club members who've prepaid, let's say, 780 uh, receipts during the year, so the total receipts during the year, that will include any prepayments obviously for the next year and it may include uh, money re money received uh, this year from uh, relating to last year which relates to the inner arrears. So let's say we've got uh, 2550, just making these numbers up, let's say we've got bad debts of £350 and then inner arrears at the end of the year, uh, let's say we're still owed £450. Uh, in advance at the end of the year, let's say we've got uh, 175 and that will be all the information you can put in so the next step is just to find the I and E so we total up the credit side because the I and E is always on the debit side so if we total that up first move the total over so we get 4130 and then this value the I and E you do a calculation obviously do your work sure you're working then this value is equal to this value the total minus this minus this so you get 3605, and that is your missing value to be transferred uh, to the i &E account for subscriptions. So where would that go? Well, again, I'll follow up with the further podcasts uh, regarding the further structure, but this is transferred to the income and expenditure account, and it'll be the top section, which is a uh, side heading titled income. Um, the last thing I would do in this case, because I do it this way, 
um, which is helpful to understand the debits and credits, is just to then relate the BDs, uh, the BD here to, from the CD on the opposite side. Okay, so that is a structure for the club accounts. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you next time for another podcast from Professor Accounting.